The uterus is tense like a boxer's fist. Scissors. The bleeding's getting worse. We have to take out the fetus or we'll lose it. Getting the baby out now. Okay. Stitches. We need to remove the uterus. The bleeding won't stop. Right. Looking for the source of the bleeding. What's there to look for? It's the uterus. We have to cut stop it. Stop being hysterical. You're killing her. She's gonna bleed to death like a cow in a slaughterhouse. Leave the OR now. is critical. We should remove the uterus. BP's dropping. We're losing her. Dina Rafalovna. Wow. So they weren't lying about the return of the prodigal son. With a diploma, like a proper adult. Yes. As a real resident. That's right. Well done. Want a uniform? I have one. All right. Go ahead. Good luck. Thank you. Hey, did you come to see your father, huh? Great to see you. Is that so? I'm here for good. Well, isn't that great? Didn't things go well with the competitors? Daddy's help wasn't enough? Or did you miss Juliet? Hmm? You're still the same. Well, I do my best. I'm off. I'll see ya. Huh. I need to see her, before I sign. Why do you torture yourself like this? My darling, 40 is not a good age to do what you couldn't do at 20. We've already talked about everything. It's better for everyone. Just sign it, please. Good girl. Nadia, hi. Hi. I won't disturb you. I'm going to the lawyer. I'll be back in an hour. See you soon. 
I'm sorry I couldn't help, but over here. Is she always like that? My whole life. Figure skating? Are you kidding? Cows aren't allowed on ice. Studying architecture in Moscow? You'll be stuck in a college library your whole life. Getting pregnant? Who would set their eyes on such a young woman? What have I done? She made you sign, didn't she? She can't separate you from your daughter. No signature can do- I don't want to. I don't want to. What should I do? I don't know. I'd run away. Good morning. Good morning, Elena. Mishka is asleep. I just put him to bed. I'll be gone for two hours, Max. Okay. There's nothing for you to worry about, Natalia. I will give Mishka a massage. We'll do exercises, listen to Mozart, and learn English. Well, we should start with Russian. Well, like I said, foreign languages. Yes, I remember. It's too late after they turn three. Yes. They had no fever this morning, but just check from time to time. Yes, okay. Oh, don't forget. Thank you. Irina Andreevna, I still think that you should stay with us. Stay here? Mm-hmm. Do you mean I should stay right up to the labor? No. I can't. No. Can you prescribe me some mm -hmm. pills? And tell me what I shouldn't be doing. Lifting weights, that sort of thing, you know? Definitely not the barbells. I haven't lifted for about two years. Do you see how much weight I've put on? I can't even look at myself. Most importantly, I would advise you to stay calm. <sighs> it's just that my husband promised to call me yesterday. Irina, I don't want to seem pushy, but... in your situation, it's better if you stay. To save yourself from regrets after all two previous miscarriages, think about it. I said no. Well... what about consulting with your husband? <gasps> He'll only be happy to know that I'll be gone for three months. You know, sometimes it's good to disappear from home. For three months. And what if he leaves? I'll go crazy here with you. You won't go crazy. If you shift your focus, right here. Can I have my stuff? And the discharge note? Discharge note? The doctor's discharge note. Put it here. Ah! My what heart! What are you doing? Okay. Where are the flowers? Let's put you Where over are they? here. Ah, okay, I have the flowers. Let me just here. grab them over here. Better. And the there. It's looking good. Okay. She's coming! Quick! She's coming! Like we practiced. Come on. What are you doing? Fire. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> We're all idiots. I thought something happened. Go to hell. <laughs> oh, how beautiful. Thank you, my dears. Oh, look at this. Oh. people in my life, so I feel I can confidently declare with all honesty and in truth, Evgenia Yefimovna, I have never known a more soulful person. I'm going to cry. A patient was hit by a car. Nadia, wake up. It's unbelievable to get out from under a Kamaz and not get crushed. Heart rate is normal. Natalia, it's like we never parted. Yeah. Heart rates fall into 80. She has a placental abruption. Prepare the OR. Call Lazarev. Is Bazanov here? Still flying. Kishina? She's at her mother's funeral. Andrei Pavlovich, the OR immediately. You'll manage? Maybe you can back me up. Andrei hasn't arrived yet. Wait, what do you mean? He was on the night shift. No, it was this new guy. Okay. Then let's go and get the new guy. I need blood tests and cytology. I'll be right back. I'm going to change. Here. Oxytocin tranexam plasma. Blood pressure is 60 over 40. Uh, tachycardia is 120. What have you got? The bleeding slowing down. No heartbeat, not breathing. Here we go, minus one child. Give thanks to the Creator and Natalia Vladimirovna for getting her out. Natalia. Natalia, can I talk to you for a second? Andre, I found out you weren't on the night shift. Andre, look. One day, Anton Pavlovich Chekhov decided to write a novel and called it On Love. He spent many months writing it, poor man. In the end, only one phrase was left from the novel. Do you know which one? 
He and she fell madly in love with each other, got married, and they were unhappy, just like that. We're fine, really. <laughs> yes? Hello, doctor. Hello. Are you the head doctor? Yes, please come in. Have a seat. Thank you. Was it you who insisted on giving up the baby? Was your daughter against it? What are you talking about? How could I? It's her decision. A deliberate one. Made a long time ago. Here is her signature. Did you talk to her? What did she say? I didn't talk to her. She ran away from the center and got hit by a car. Uh, what? She ran away? Nadavna. Ruslan Evgenievich. <laughs> As my grandmother would say, goodness me. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, please, don't be so formal. Okay, what brings you here? Our section is so boring. I thought being a surgeon would be more interesting. It sure is a lot more fun here. Pure action. When did you come to the States? Three months ago, I came to retrain as an obstetrician. Tomorrow I'm going home. Tired of using a microscope, selecting embryos, influencing destinies? Yeah, hard to play God. It sounds like you're having a proper midlife crisis. <laughs> I don't see anything proper in a midlife crisis. Well, I am in my 30s too. I too am bored and have a passion for new places. Hmm. Why haven't we talked before? Worried? Mm-hmm. Don't worry. Hello. 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 According to your chart, you have a perfect pregnancy. The tests and ultrasounds, everything spot on. Mm. Sit down. The doctor at the consultation called her a standout. We just moved here to St. Petersburg. We don't have relatives here. If anything happens, there is no one to count on. Where did you flee from? From Moscow. We fled from Mordor. <laughs> All Muscovites flee from there. Mm. Main thing is, you're in the right place. Okay. Okay. Everything okay? Something wrong? No, everything's fine. Labor signs are weak. We need to pump it up. Mm. No, everything's fine. You can go home. We're doing fine, and this is going to take a while. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, God. Here you go. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, to coincidences that don't happen and to beautiful legs that'll save this world. Ah, uh, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> to strangers on a train. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, are they still together? Rostov and Bolkonsky? Sort of, yeah. And you, you're still single? So you just ran away from the country for no reason? To retrain in her specialty. <laughs> <laughs> What's so attractive about these headstrong women that they are taken from others even when pregnant? Oh, no, not a headstrong woman. Who then? Doesn't matter. 
you lost a long time ago. You want the truth? Go on then. You... You have never stepped out of line. Made up an image of yourself, such a beautiful, intelligent, successful Snow Queen. But a normal down-to-earth man can't survive with such a woman. She's cold, you understand? She's so all over the place with this fixation on work and her pregnancy, with Ippolit emerging from time to time. Sitting in her tower like a princess, you'd want to save her. Am I right? I didn't offend you, did I? <clears throat> Any way out of this? Hi, sorry. Can you change the music? Something more romantic, please. Thank you. Stepping out of line, of course. Before him, I thought love was complicated, that it was always a drama. And the bearded one changed your mind. <laughs> yes. He showed up and it turned out that love is very simple. From the very first day until now, we've been two absolutely happy kitties. It'll be easier down the stairs. It's always easier down the stairs. You know... I never thought that pregnancy would turn out to be the happiest time of my life. I tried for a whole year in Moscow, and nothing. And then both of us quit our dreadful jobs and went to Crimea. Mm. I had already given up on all this. What child, a woman of my age, couldn't possibly? All of my friends have two kids already, and then it all worked itself out. Oh, oh I think I'm tired. Okay, come on, let's uh -huh. go. Especially after all the drugs I was taking for years. Don't worry, I called Vare. Sure, it's gonna be fine. Sure, sure, it's okay. Mom, don't worry. I'm gonna be fine. Hi, Natalia. I'm so sorry for your loss. Well, I was lucky to have her for so long. It's true. How's your son? First month without any colds or hospitals, but I do still check his forehead. All the time. Well, I never had any doubt that you would be a great mother. I wish I had your confidence. You're not going back? I'll congratulate Misha. Hello, doctor. There's a patient in the uh, That's for Alla Valerievna. Pavel, listen. I realize that it's more pleasant for you to work with Bakhmetyeva, but since you're back and I'm still here, are we good? Let me see. Doppler graph and ultrasound. Don't cry, my little one. Mommy will be there soon. Elena, yes. I should be out for another hour or so. What's going on? Mm. There's a reason why I already disliked my birthday from 16. My father had a heart attack. My ex-husband showed up. Okay. 
That's from Mishka. Oh. Is that his hand? <laughs> oh my god, thank you, my dear. Oh my sweetie, so beautiful. And this is from me. Well. Oh. With triplets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only my mother could ever make them so mouth-watering. I'm scared of myself already. I've been doing nothing but baking pies and changing nappies for a year now. Listen, I've already been told about the night shift. Trust me. Don't worry about it. I've never met a man like Lazarev. In the 55 years I've been on this earth. Hmm. Can I join you? Hmm? May I? Yes, of course. So, what are you listening to? What? What are you listening to? Uh, uh, Rachmaninoff. Hmm. <laughs> Isle of the Dead. It's amazing that you know. It's so rare now. My husband is a musician. Oh. And why this particular piece? In this moment? Well, there's such a lust for life in it. Oh. Ladies, help, quickly! I need oh. someone to bring a gurney right yeah. now. Well, I'll go show off my pies. Thanks a lot. None for you, you get them at okay. home. Okay. Natalia. Do you know what I was thinking when Mishka was born? I was really scared that I was all alone with him. And then you came along and made that fear go away. Now for some reason I'm scared again. I didn't want to tell you. But I will. Just a moment. Yeah. Hypoxia. On my way. They're calling me to the labor room. The baby's not breathing. Natalia. There's a woman with a ruptured uterus. Caution is in the labor room and no one else is there. 38 years old, decided on a home birth after two C-sections, and of course, no x-rays or hysteroscopy to find out what's going on with the two scars on the uterus, in keeping with the best traditions of cavemen. Do not hold back. If you need to scream, then scream. All right, that's it. Okay, focus. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Push down gently. One more time. For Rachmaninoff. Gently, one more time now. Okay. Okay. Here she is now. She's coming. Your little girl is right here. Here she is. Okay. Hello, darling. Take the baby. Come on, finish up here. What's wrong? It's good that he called the ambulance, or it would have been a proper mess. Boris? How was the labor? She was screaming a lot. The neighbors came. They thought that she was being murdered. And then I saw she calmed down, and I even thought she fell asleep. Uh, but then I saw that there was blood everywhere. I see. Regression of fetal head advancement, defense, and shock. Uh, will you save her? We'll try our best. And my brother? We'll do our best. Hang in there.
I'll be damned. What a nice prospect we've got. One dead body or two. Auto hemotransfusion. Of course. We'll do, Doctor. Taking the baby out now. Hand it over. Preparing for the supervaginal. What do you have? Pouring everything at once. Guys, who did we offend so much that it's the third child to shift? Hello? Uh, they're still operating. They won't come out and they won't say anything. Dad, please come here. What happened? Yulia, I'm so sorry. We were unable to resuscitate your daughter. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tell me what's wrong. Perfect pregnancy. Is the autopsy over? Yes. Multiple intrauterine malformations. Congenital diaphragmatic hernia. Displaced heart. Huge liver and microscopic lungs. How did it not show up on the ultrasounds? I really don't know. I mistook the huge liver for lungs. Enough. In the research and experimental center behind me, the infant mortality rate has skyrocketed in recent days. Yesterday and today, a total of four children died. This could threaten the center and... They don't know yet that another child has died. I don't understand how information about the percentage of deaths leaked to the press at all. Maybe someone from the city health department. Do you think anyone is personally interested in us? All over the country, medical centers are being closed. I fought it off as best I could until the very end. And then, in one second... I can take it all on myself and write a letter of resignation. Don't be silly. Would it change anything? Tell me, do you regret that I persuaded you to stay? No. I don't regret it at all, because if we forget today's shift... It was almost my best year, in six years of practice. Do you have any regrets? My only regret is that I allowed myself to take on the Women's Counseling Center as well. <sighs> Why did I think we were 30 again, and that the whole world is at our feet?
it's all my fault. It's not your fault. It's because we lived in a tent. Because I got a sore throat. Because I was taking antibiotics. It's nobody's fault. Unfortunately, it just happened. We just need to accept it. It was all too good. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> Will she sleep for long? Mm, we're going to keep her on a ventilation machine and monitor her for a while. We really need to stabilize her vitals because she lost a lot of blood. It's good that she'll sleep. That way she won't find out about Gleb. Come on, Borea, let's go. Dad! Son. Sorry, but you can't be in here. They made an exception for Borea. Give me a minute. Wait for me in the corridor. Okay. It's because of the home birth. It's because of the home birth after two C-sections. The previous birth was at the maternity hospital. That's where my daughter got infected. Her and nine other children. One girl survived. Not ours. When I took Anfisa home, she said, I won't give birth in a hospital again. And I said, I don't want any more kids. And she left. Oleg Viktorovich. Hello there. Natalia, I couldn't catch you all day. How are you? Yeah, I've been better. It's really not advisable for a surgeon to be a mother at all. Yes, you're more emotional. I'd very much like you to come back. We need you. We need to stabilize the situation in the ward. I'm sure Allah can handle it. This chain of deaths, it's an accident. It's a hospital after all. It's clear that all the complicated cases are here. But five infant deaths in three days, Natalia. The officials will not forgive us. I have a small child who is sick all the time. Things have just started to get better. I really can't. At least tell me that you'll be thinking about it. Is Andrei Pavlovich out yet? No, he left and asked me to tell you. Thank you. Yes. Mm, thank you. Plain? Yeah. It's time to pack up. What, we didn't split up? You said we were going to conquer Everest. But we went to the Empire State Building. Yes. Not only that. <laughs> oh.
now. I wanted to furnish it before showing you. I'm sorry I made you worry, Natalia. I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. It's okay. It's okay. Where have you been all my life? In the lab. Till I feel the hey, what's all this about then? Caught her stealing in the railway station. Immediately started squatting like in labor. I thought she was fooling about, but decided to come to you. Are there any pregnancy papers? Nope, just a passport. Not local, by the way. <laughs> Residence settlement in Melio Retivni. Where's that one? I checked already. Prioneski District, Republic of Karelia. 2,329 residents. That's all right. In three months, it'll be 2,330. Hey. <laughs> you should only cry lying with your head down. At least you'll wash your hair. Now. All whining aside, talk to me. Does it hurt? Where? How? As it should. But I mustn't. I, I'm 27 weeks pregnant. <laughs> well, first of all, my little fish, these are probably just the contractions of the good old Mr. Braxton Hicks. I mean false contractions. And secondly, even if they're not, we'll try to stop them. And thirdly, if it fails, we won't eat our hearts out over it. It's early, of course. But it's okay. We have nursed even smaller. I'm having triplets. Get a gurney quickly and into the exam room. <laughs> Are you taking her? Sure. And the stolen bun? The saleswoman filed a report. Here. Is that enough? Or was it a cream bun? Pavel, where are you? Mm -hmm. Come to the observation room. Well, let's see. Baraboshkina Alovtina Sergeevna. Alia. Alia. Okay then, Alia, let's hear your story. How is it you ended up in the city, alone at night, without money? Where is the heroic father? I don't know where he is. And I don't know where she is Who's either, she? their mother. They're not my children. Hello. Hi. So what have we got here? Apparently it's a surrogacy and IVF in some kind of shoddy business. 19 years old, first pregnancy. Okay, go ahead. Do your ultrasound. Gosh, little girl, where did they find you? On the internet. But please don't think badly of them. They already tried once on their own, but the baby didn't survive because the other surrogate mother drank, she smoked, and God and knows what else. Mm, of course. It was necessary to find a young, naive fool and get her to carry triplets for them. Makes a lot of sense. I agree to it. Wanted a beautiful life. I needed money for my mom's surgery. They don't do these in Moscow. And where are they, these wonderful people? Why are you wandering around alone? They've both disappeared. Their phones are silent. I don't know their addresses. I'm out of money. 
The landlady of the flat they got me refused to wait. Maybe they changed their minds. Eugenia. Yes, I can see I'm not blind. All right, all right, all right. Hmm? All of Tina Sergeyevna, calm down. Everything will be all right. You stay with us now. Hmm. How swift will the reaction be to the increase in child mortality in the center under your jurisdiction? I assure you, the reaction will be immediate and tough. We have created a commission which will conduct a thorough investigation of all cases, and those responsible will be severely punished. Could we be talking about closing the med center? I wouldn't want to jump to conclusions, but yes, such an outcome is also possible. Is there any work conducted with the children's parents? Certainly. Psychological help, first of all, and of course, financial assistance, absolutely. Who is in the commission? <clears throat> Oleg Viktorovich? Ah. Oh. It was me who told Zamyatina to run away. I in injected her with a sedative. Should I... resign now? Oleg Viktorovich, 